America's elites tend to go to college, and unfortunately, today's colleges lean left, way left. A government report found at top universities, college professors who donate to politicians, 99% give to Democrats. Fox's Jesse Waters confronted some Cornell students about that. This student described his campus this way. Very diverse campus, a bunch of different people from a bunch of different backgrounds. 96% of the donations from faculty here went to Democrats. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? His cluelessness is what's wrong. You can't get a complete education if almost all your teachers think one way. Political science professor David Corbin teaches at the King's College, a rare school where not everyone is a leftist. When some of these statistics were brought out, some on the left said, well, it's because to be in academia, you have to be smart, and people on the right are not. How's that for an argument, an empirical argument there, right, that you're stupid because you're not like me? <laughs> and I think that's what happens in colleges and universities. Well, I'll, let's yeah. be specific. The chair of the Duke Philosophy Department said, we try to hire the smartest people available. Lots of conservatives we will never hire. Members of academia tend to be smarter than average. Of course, yeah. So a conservative, stupid, libertarian, stupid. Why in banking or why in any other industry do you have an equal amount of Republicans or conservatives or libertarians as you do people on the left? It's just higher education where stupid conservatives and libertarians need not apply? Uh, the statistics are remarkable. UCLA periodically studies how full-time faculty members in universities self-identify. And uh, on the far left, it's gone from 8.8% to 12% who say far left. Liberals gone 47%. Conservatives, 15%. On the far right, less than 1%. In other words, on the left, 63%. On the right, 12%. Most of the hiring in higher education, especially at elite colleges, happens at the departmental level. So you'll have a majority of individuals who will choose to add to their number. So if you have 51% of your department wanting someone who shares the same values and belief system, political commitments as they do, that 51% is going to become 60% and 75% before you know it. So aren't they embarrassed? Don't they want to say, we, we believe in diversity of ideas, too? The assumption is that if you're a conservative and you're trying to do sociology, there's no, no need for you in this, this industry, or any other uh, discipline for that matter. And sociology, I, I'm not surprised. One survey, 16 Democrats per one Republican. But even the economics departments, 2.5 to 1. Yeah, th and that's actually a, an area where I think libertarian, classical liberal, and conservative thinkers have done well in law and economics. Yeah. But even 2.5 to, to, to 1, uh, given a $20 trillion debt and, and all the rest, yeah, it's amazing statistics. Some conservative students say you have to adapt to survive in college. If they write a conservative-leaning essay, they'll get a bad grade. If I want an A, I tailor my papers to how the professor leans. They write a paper and they bring up a conservative viewpoint, they'll, they won't get a good grade. I mean, that's really wrong. And it's widespread. I mean, it's everywhere. And, and I think that, you know, the way around it is, I think, to write what you think on the matter, but to also tell the professor, I know you want to hear this, but this is what I really think. And, and doing that, you'll get most professors at that point who will hold back and say, okay, listen, this person has a different opinion than me, but they want to hear what they've taught. They want it regurgitated to them. Do the professors actually say, we hire only leftists? Do they admit it to themselves? There are no placards outside their doors saying libertarians and conservatives need not apply. But they know you by your CV. They know you by what you've studied. They know, know you by who you've studied with.